What I found with the golf swing is you break it down into movement, into parts, you know, and, and as we talk more about the site and we get into the M system and when we do the new 2.0 M system, it's a development of skills from the smallest moving to then it starts to move a little bit, it starts to move a little more, and how do you add parts to it? And if you start the right way and then you add parts, if all of a sudden you add a part and you can't do it correctly, then what happens is you struggle. We haven't as an industry really defined what that sequence is. And I've been fortunate to go through a lot of learning and, and kind of figure out for me and for the students, I think, what's, what's a very good process to go through? Are there probably others? I guess there are. But when I really look at learning and how the body learns movement patterns, it's probably the best way. So we're going to talk about hips for a minute and how your lower body works. And you kind of want to do it, I've always done it in pieces. So let's talk about the backswing for a minute. So on the backswing, what do you want to do? Well, as I go back, as I take the club away, I want this leg to push this hip out of the way. So if I wanted to just feel what that feels like, rather than work on that, I'd get set up and then I drop this foot way back so this hip's already out of the way. And all I'm going to do is make a swing and run the club into the ball with this hip out of the way. So now I'm feeling what it feels like to create this space and what it feels like to get right in here. I'm not even worried about that this one's doing. So that gives me a feel of this and into the ball. And then as I get a feel, I move this foot up a little bit. So now I start moving my hip back and then I get here. But see my hip, I keep getting it back to this spot. Whether my feet are here or it's back here, what happens is when I go back, where does my, where does my hip socket get to? It moves further away from the ball. So my left hip's moving away. Now I'm going to turn around and I'm going to do it on the follow through side. So I'll start here. I drop this hip out of the way, so now I'm going to stay here and I'm going to leave that heel on the ground. And now, all of a sudden, this is out of the way over here so I can run the club into the ball and I've got all this room to swing over there. So now I've got both sides, so I kind of separated them. Then once you do that, you say, okay, Now I'm going to try to make this one out of the way here and this one out of the way over there. So this one gets out of the way, that one gets out of the way. And now I hit it from that side. So now you've added the two. Now there's all kinds of drills where I can start up here, step back, step back and hit that starts to feel how you get your hips out of the way. It's a lot of really good practice because your instinct has to be to move away from the ball. So your instinct, there's the ball, I'm moving away, I'm moving away. If you have the instinct to move into it, you're in trouble. So separate it. Do the back hip first, then do the forward hip, then put them together. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for regular updates and tips. Thanks for watching.